Once you are inside of Lead Pages, you'll be on the Templates page, and you can look through all of these pre-done templates. Now they're pretty easy to modify, but they're also limited as far as what you can do. It's not like the uh, Office Autopilot editor where you can drag things around. Um, however, they're they're proven and tested, so we've been having really good results with them. So once you've selected which template you want to use, and in this case I've already done that, go to Lead Pages to see which lead pages you have. And the most recent ones will be up at the top, and we can add tags to them if you want to make it easier to sort them. So the two that, that we're working with right now are for the Wedding Business Blueprint, June 2014. So this one has no video, so we're going to go to Edit, and I'm just going to show you really quickly some of the features. If you want more detail, you can go to the Knowledge Base. Um, but all the stuff that you select, you can either select it, pardon me, you can click on it to swap out the images and things, or you can go over to the left and click there on the different parts to make the changes that you want. Okay. So, all right, we've got SEO settings, that's pretty straightforward. Tracking code, that's where you'll put in the Google Analytics, it's the Google Tag Manager code goes here, and can put the Office Autopilot code will go in here. And then just save that. Style settings. This is where you can change the colors, and as you'll see the feature stripe, the feature headline, changing colors here, changing button colors, and I imagine you'll be a lot better at that than I am. They have a different fonts here as well that you can change to. We can set an exit pop-up, which generally I'm not that interested in doing. And this is where you set up your opt-in form integration. Now I've already done it for this particular page, but when you click on integration settings, we'll just select Office Autopilot. And what we're doing when we have multiple fields, you have to use the HTML copy and paste. So just go to Office Autopilot, and then inside of Office Autopilot, so I can pull that up quickly. Just make sure that, let's say, in Office Autopilot, we want to grab the form code, which you can find by going to Publish Form, HTML version, and what I did was I just copied and pasted that HTML version into here. So that's how you set your integration settings. And again, you can change the style and text of the font, the submit button if you want it to look different, um, privacy policy, you can change the text here, etc. So that's how that works. And then, of course, the different aspects of the page. So here you'll swap out the images. Now, any images that we already have used are, can be found in here. So you can see I've played around with some of the different um, logos of the media where we've been featured. You can see that our logo's already in here and photos from some of our testimonials. And it gives you the recommended image size down here so that you can make sure that you have an image that's the right size. And I won't go into too many other details because it's pretty straightforward. I think you can figure it out. Um, when you're done, just hit save and that's pretty much it. Now I'm going to be creating a couple split tests. If we wanted to do that, you can just add a new variation based on either this original version or another separate page, which is cool, which means we can test different types of pages against each other. And then when we have a split test set up, we'll see the results here. So you'll see version 1 and version 2, and it'll tell you the conversion rate of each so that we can tell which one is running better. So again, pretty straightforward, pretty easy to use. Um, and if you have questions, just let me know. Thanks.